The word robot comes from the Czech word robota, which means hard work, slavery, or labor. A robot is a machine that can be programmed to do a complex series of actions. But robots are not just machines, but labor for humans, like washing machines or tractors. A definition which is widely used is the sense, think, act definition of robots. It is only a robot if it can, sense, with sensors that can touch or see. Think. Any robot must be able to process information it senses, for instance, to decide how far away an object is or how tightly to grasp it. Act. It must be able to act on this information and have wills, arms, legs, hand or other way of affecting the world around it. When we think of the word robot, our mind usually goes to something from science fiction or a Hollywood blockbuster movie. But the truth is, most robots in the real world do not look like this. They are usually designed to carry out very specific tasks. Robots have been used for quite some time in factories and manufacturing, for example, in the production of cars or with exoskeletons to support workers in carrying out difficult tasks. But they've recently become more popular in other fields, like for instance, in healthcare where robots are taking over heavy lifting from the nurses, or robotic seals, which are used in nursing homes for people with dementia. Also, in agriculture, robots are widely used. Here, robots are used to solve multiple tasks in the field, like weeding, seeding, harrowing, and spraying and drones are used to monitor fields or spread fertilizer to targeted areas. In the field of inspection and maintenance, robots are used to inspect and repair sewer pipes in places that are difficult for humans to access, or simply to mow the grass. As you can see, there are many different areas in which the use of robots is becoming more widespread. What all these uses have in common is that the robots are designed to make tasks easier for humans. As we mentioned in the beginning, people can have unrealistic and futuristic ideas of what a robot is. How does this influence the way we view robots and their role in our society? And will this change? How will your grandchild think of robots? And will that influence the acceptance of robotics in society? Go to roboticsforeu.eu to learn more about the project. Robotics for a U, boosting wider adoption of robotics in Europe.